Hello everyone, today I will show you the most terrible application that is on your smartphones. And what is most interesting is that this application is already built into the firmware. And when you buy a new smartphone, it is already installed by default, but you do not see it in the usual list. Here, when you go to the settings and there is such an item that is responsible for your application, unfortunately, you will not find it here. Here, all applications, but no matter how you look, it will not be here. And the most negative thing is that this application collects information on the entire smartphone from all applications and starts sending it to developers. At the same time, it works 24 by 7, that is, it works from morning to evening in the background, constantly consumes your RAM, takes up your processor's work, plus additionally spends your internet, your traffic, especially if it is not unlimited. In general, and all this in hidden mode constantly works and additionally discharges your battery. Here ask yourself a question. Why do you need such an application that sends some personal data to an unknown place, to an unknown person and does not bring any benefit to you personally? And the developers of this application, of course, will know almost everything about you and your personal life. In general, I will now show you how to get to such an application. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and share with friends. Now I will show you how to neutralize this infection, which few people know about. Look, we are leaving this menu for now, we will not need it. We need to go through an unusual menu, through Google Play, through which you download games and applications. To do this, you need to click on Google Play, then click on your avatar or account at the top right and then further down the list find this question mark. Click on it here and scroll down. Here is this list, it may be different, it will be different in everyone. Therefore, I recommend using the search and help specifically and here just write the word delete and you will find a line on how to remove an application from an Android device. Click here. Next, look, you need to scroll down a little bit more and find a blue line called, click to go to application settings. A very important point is that if you use a dark theme, then you may not be able to get here and some error will constantly pop up. Then you need to switch to a light theme and only then try to get here. Then you will succeed 100%. Here, click here. Next, look, you get to all your applications that are on your smartphone. Here you need to click on the button at the bottom and show system processes. Now look, the only downside is that there is no search here. By the way, write in the comments who had some kind of search here. Well, to just enter the name of the application, and it was immediately popped up for you. I have not yet met such smartphones, but perhaps there are some. Here you need to scroll very carefully. In principle, you can try to find it by the picture itself if you cannot find it by name. And we find this application called Report. Here's a picture of it, like this incomprehensible smiley. We go here, and now look, first of all, this is permission. When you go here, here are the permissions, again, everyone will have different ones, but specifically on my smartphone, access to your contacts, access to files and media content and access to the phone are allowed. Well, of course, all the information will be collected from all these parts that you see. Well, and who really needs access even to files and media content? that is, to your gallery. Perhaps you store your personal photos there. Perhaps someone is photographing some passwords, documents, and so on. Plus access to the phone. Well, this could actually even be wiretapping. It could be recording some phone conversations or even just someone can listen to all this online. Well, and access to contacts. It's clear where all your numbers go. And then you get calls from strange numbers and you wonder where they got my number from. And if you go to general information, you'll be horrified. There's just a huge list here and access to Wi-Fi, and access to the internet, and background access, access to GPS, access to quick launch, gallery, and so on. In general, look what we're doing. Of course, here, if you have the opportunity, connect all this so that there's no access. And then it's very important to clear out what's already accumulated, some data and some errors. Delete all this. Then we go back and here we go to power and performance. And you'll be really surprised. Look, it's really unlimited. That is, in this mode, your battery consumption is not limited. Your battery is used uselessly and discharges faster from this strange function. Well, of course, to get rid of such an application as much as possible, you need to prohibit everything as much as possible. For example, I set mine to limited, and at the same time background activity will be minimal. Well, and here you can pause work during an inactive period. Of course, we also turn this on. And look, after that we need to force a stop. Someone may have this icon lit up here. If it is lit, then first we click on it, turn it off and then force a stop. Click OK. After such manipulations, this application will stop working, stop collecting data and sending it somewhere to unknown sources. Plus, your phone will start working faster and faster, because it will be less loaded from incomprehensible monitoring and collection of information, which constantly occurs from morning to evening. Of course, in this way you will make your smartphone the best, and the autonomy of your phone will increase, 
and the speed will improve. Write in the comments if you manage to disable this application using this method. Also, don't forget to support with a like and subscribe to the channel.